This is MSJ Chem, in this video I'll be looking at alloys. Alloys are materials that are composed of two or more metals or a metal and a non-metal. Here we can see some examples of alloys. On the left we have a bronze statue, which is an alloy of copper and tin. In the middle we have a musical instrument that's made of brass, which is an alloy of copper and zinc. And on the right we have some cutlery that's made of stainless steel which is an alloy of iron, nickel and chromium. The bonding in metals is non-directional. The force of attraction between the positive metal ions and the delocalized electrons acts in every direction around the fixed metal ions. In this diagram we can see the lattice of positive metal ions and the sea of delocalized electrons. The force of attraction that occurs between the lattice of positive metal ions and the sea of delocalized electrons occurs all around the positive metal ions. This is known as non-directional bonding. Next we look at two different types of alloys. On the left we have a substitutional alloy. On the right we have an interstitial alloy. In a substitutional alloy, atoms of one metal are substituted by atoms of another metal. In an interstitial alloy, a different metal occupies interstitial spaces or holes in the lattice structure. Alloys tend to have lower melting points than pure metals. They also tend to be harder, that's less malleable, and have greater tensile strength. This is because the added metal atoms can distort the lattice structure. The distortion of the lattice structure makes it more difficult for the layers to slide over each other. This makes the alloy stronger and harder. And finally, we'll have a look at some examples of alloys, their component metals and their properties and uses. Steel is composed of iron and carbon and is used in construction. Stainless steel is composed of iron, nickel and chromium and is used in cooking implements. Brass is made of copper and zinc and is used in pipes. Bronze is made of copper and tin and is used in coins, medals, tools and statues. Pewter is composed of tin, copper and antimony and is used in decorative ornaments. Solder is made of lead and tin and is used to join metals in electrical circuits. And finally, nichrome is composed of nickel and chromium and is used in heating elements.